30 years ago, May 30th, 1990, the Star House was ceremonially opened and has served many, many people since then. It continues to grow in strength as people grow in sophistication to use it. And we're inviting you to celebrate that fact and take it into the future. To be stewards of a sanctuary and a temple in the modern age is a calling I think both of us responded to um, early in our lives. And to build a community requires community with everybody watching this, all the people over the years who've given of their dedication and inspirations and creative expressions. It's been a community of many, 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 many hundreds of people over 30 years. So deep heartfelt felt thanks and recognition of each and every one of you. We'd also like to invite those of you watching perhaps for the first time to just take a breath and arrive in this moment at a time when the world is spinning literally. And one of our visions is to create sanctuary. Yes, yeah, and to work with this instrument of love to refine our humanity. Thanks for joining us and celebrating, and we're looking forward to carrying this place and the community into the next 30 years with new life and new stewards and new visions. <laughs>
In the beginning there was a dream, a dream for the land. It began with a circle. And circles expand in all directions to become the flower of life laid onto the land. The circles interact. We pick and choose. The angles are angels. And we've met many angels in this process to become quite complicated, to become a building. And there's the vertical also within the same geometry, moving in relationship to the human being at the center. There's a new church 
on the horizon made of light not of stone calling out to our creation you are not alone lions and lambs saints and sinners best of friends and our Woman and man, losers and winners, they are all in you and me. We are one heart, looking for answers. We are one soul, finding our way through the dark. One dream, we share together. We are.
Holly McCann, one of the board members of All Seasons Chalice, and I want to share with you a bit about what we're seeing currently and as we look toward the future of the Star House. The Star House resides on 108 acres of land as part of a larger constellation known as Earth Star, which we're viewing as a living organism. And here's what I mean by that. This Earth Star constellation includes the Star House Temple and Sacred Sites, Earth Star Farm, which is a certified organic and biodynamic farm on the land, Morning Star, a private residence and community home. The Wild Parcel, which is zoned for a private residence in the future. The Retreat Cabin. And a future community hall between the Star House and the Water House, which has already been approved by the county. Evening Song is the home of David and Leela, which is adjacent to the Earth Star constellation. And All Seasons Chalice, the nonprofit 501c3 organization, is responsible for stewarding all of the components of the Earth Star constellation other than Earth Star Farm. The beautiful thing is that all of these individual aspects are interwoven and they each contribute to the well being of all the other parts and to the whole. In this way, we're viewing the Earth Star constellation as one mutually thriving organism, where each sphere is thriving individually nourished and uplifted by all the other spheres, and the entire constellation is thriving as a whole. The Star House, the shining star of this constellation, is a sanctuary for the sacred, a place of belonging, connection, and wholeness, a place that unites land, stars, and human hearts. As a sanctuary for the sacred, the Star House is simultaneously a temple for connecting with nature, a temple for connecting with the wisdom of the stars, and a temple for connecting with our own human body, spirit, and soul. And as we focus on how we best serve our members and the larger communities in which we operate, here in Boulder and globally, we're taking a holistic approach, working co-creatively with facilitators and program partners to offer programs and experiences that support and amplify an organic connection with the earth, stars, and human hearts. Together, as we all give to and receive from the Star House in a regenerative way, we're weaving this beautiful and powerful beacon of what's possible when we connect with the divine within us and around us through this sanctuary for the sacred. Standing on this threshold of 30 years, the Star House is honoring a rich history, embracing the unique present moment, and stepping toward a promising future. I'm Corinne Blanchard, another board member with All Seasons Chalice. We are celebrating by raising $30,000 in 30 days as a birthday present to the Star House and to welcome support from all of you, people who have witnessed the power of this place and are compelled to nourish it in this way. Whether $30 or $3,000, your contribution goes directly to empowering the next 30 years of vibrant service and far-reaching impact at a time when the gifts and offerings of the Star House are more relevant and needed than ever. To make your gift in honor of the Star House's 30th birthday, simply visit thestarhouse.org and find the button that says, yes, count me in. <laughs> We are the Star House Board of Directors. My name is Ed. I'm Debbie. I'm Corinne. I'm Holly. Lila. David. <laughs> we invite you to join us in this sanctuary for the sacred. 
and to find your place in this unfolding mandala as we move into our future. Assisting us to transform life on Earth. Happy birthday.